Good morning, Mr. Abe. Morning, Mr. Victor. Is this a child? Oh, yes, she is. Ah, she's so beautiful. Thank you. So, this is where you'll be staying for now. I have to go to my office to get some things done. I'll be back to check up on you. Yes. Take care. Yes, Dad. Good morning, sir. Hi, uh, good morning. Okay, who are you? Uh, I am Miss Susan's maid. She asked me to bring her child to work. She said she was joining soon. Oh, is Mrs. Susan's son? Yes. A such an answer, man. What's his name? Joe. So I need to leave right now. Oh, okay. All right. Joe, please, you can have your seat. Be careful, okay? Good morning, Mr. Victor. Yeah. Good morning. Is this your daughter? I wanted to... Oh, don't worry. From her appearance, I can see the way she's dressed. I know she's your daughter. But you didn't even let me to... What do you have to say? Are you trying to make an excuse for, you know, for her looking like this? For not making her hair or the way she's shabbily dressed? I already know you don't have money. Besides, if she looks way better than this, I'll be surprised. You're just a common cleaner. Yeah. Can you just get back to work, please? Young girl, just go over there. Stand up! What gives you the F1 tree to sit down there? I just told you, go over there and not sit down. Sit on the floor. But, sir. Sir, what? What gives you the iPhone tree to come to this office to come and sit down? Do you even have chairs in your house? No, you don't. So what gives you the iPhone tree to come to this office to come and sit on chairs? But sir, you didn't ask me. Ask you what? I don't know why poor people like you always want to have opinion about everything. It baffles me that a poor riffraff like you always want to have things to say. If you're that brilliant, then why is your mother not a manager in this company? Or head of the department? Why is she just a cleaner? You're going to be standing all through and you dare not sit down. Not even on the floor. Sir, you... Shut up. You're miserable. One more word from you, you'll be punished heavily. Now keep your mouth shut. Sir, it is not... Are you deaf? How can you be so stubborn and poor at the same time? But sir, you don't... I said me. shut up. I have things to do. I don't want to hear a single word from you again. Cookies time, everybody! Okay, make sure you take some. You take as many as possible. Thank you. Alright. Thank you, sir. And for you, I am sure you're expecting to eat out of these cookies. I am sorry to disappoint you. Nothing for you. Okay? <laughs> Alright. Enjoy your cookies. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Dad. Don't you dare go close to the boss. Have you lost your mind? You're just a common cleaner's child in this office. Sir, I am so sorry for the embarrassment. I, I am so sorry I couldn't stop this little dirty looking girl from attempting to touch you. I am so sorry, sir. Victor. Yes, sir. Do you know who you're talking to? Yes, sir. You are the boss and she's the child of the cleaner. Child of the cleaner? Yes, sir. Look at her. Look at the way she's dressed. Look at her hair. Look at her appearance. She's shabbily dressed. You're saying there's no other reason a child could look like this? Yes, sir. I can bet my life on it. Victor. Yes, sir. Let's take it from this angle. What if the child is mine and the mother is out of town for a business trip? And as a man, this is the best I could do. Sir, you have a very valid point. But this is not the situation here. I am so sure of what I am saying. Well, you cannot be so sure because she's my daughter. What? 
You heard me. She is my daughter. Sir, I, I am so sorry. I, I am so sorry, sir. I didn't know she's your daughter. So, this is what has been going on here. Dad, I have a lot to tell you about Mr. Tabito. Really? Yes, Dad. Okay, let's go to my office. Sir, okay. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I, I am so sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I called for this meeting due to what happened today after my daughter told me of what Mr. Victor, who is in charge of corporate and social responsibility, had done to her. She made me realize that Mr. Victor is not qualified to take that position anymore. I'm sorry, sir, but what happened exactly? Because I was in my office handling the project he gave me. Good question. Mr. Victor treated my daughter like a nobody, which got me curious that he would have been treating other staff's kids so badly due to the way they look or they dress and I'm sure he will be judging them in his mind. So moving forward, I'll be relieving him of his position. He will no longer work with us. Sir, sir, I'm so sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. Letting you go is the best decision I've made. Even the cleaner complained on how rude you were towards her. So I believe when you get another job, you will behave well and you will learn how to treat people better. Sir, please forgive me, sir. Please. Mr. Ben. Yes, sir. You know what you'll do? You prepare a letter of termination. You give it to him. Also, you give him 10 minutes to pack his things and leave the office. Okay, sir. So, you can both leave. <clears throat> okay, sir. 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 Let's talk to you for a minute. Please look at the cake, isn't it you? Ah! Oh! Mom, I hate you. How could you do this? Get out of my school. Get out! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I get more plastic. I think you get more money from this. Yes, thank you. Wow. If I since I had this accident, you have been so helpful to me. I don't know what I've done without you. Thank you. You know what? What? Just guess. What? You'll be resuming the new school on Monday. Really? Yes, baby. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Don't I deserve a hug? Come on. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I'll take you to the cafeteria and to our class. So we'll go later. Okay. Hey, new kid. Am I not talking to you? Well, just to let you know that I rule this school and you ought to respect me because I deserve to be respected. Did I get myself understood? Ouch! Why did you do that for? Quite stubborn. <laughs> Oh no, Janet, you don't do that on my watch. Oh, what did you do that for? <laughs> hey, new kid, stop laughing. It's not funny. Oh, sorry. Come on, let's go. 
I really don't know how to appreciate you. Like, I mean, you help me a lot. It's fine. I really can't stand her bullying and harassing a new kid like you. She just feels she's so strong. I guess an introduction will be pretty nice. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Hannah. What about you? Hmm, so nice. I'm Claire. I hope you're not hurt. No, not at all. You came for me when I needed you. I'll call you my angel. I'll take that as a compliment. You can say that again. Okay, let's head to class now. Okay. When is your birthday? Can you believe this? Today is my birthday. Really? Yes. Wow. So what are you getting? I don't know. Who is that woman over there? That's my mom. Mom. Hello, Anna. How are you? Today is your birthday, so I said I should bring this cake to surprise you. <laughs> Anna's mom looks so unkept. <laughs> She's just like an alien, but with crutches. <laughs> Please look at the cake, isn't it beautiful? Ah! Oh! Mom, I hate you. How could you do this? Get out of my school. Get out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> don't come close to me. What is wrong? I don't want to be friends with someone whose mom looks unkept. <laughs> My daughter, you are back. Don't ever call me your daughter. Why would you come to my school today? You made me feel embarrassed. Me? I can't wait to leave this godforsaken house. My daughter. Hi, dear. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Kate. Good afternoon, sir. Please follow me to the office. Okay. Let's go. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. It's fine. So, isn't your mom coming for the content? She's not coming. It's not funny, bro. I didn't invite her. But why? I don't want someone who would come and embarrass me again. <sighs> Sir, you called for me. Oh, yes. Do have a seat. It's concerning the mathematics competition you went for representing the school. Well, the result is out. Oh, really, sir? Yeah, and you won. I'm so happy. And winning means you'll be given a scholarship to school abroad and a $5,000 to support it. I don't know what to say. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, sir. Well, the school will really, really like to thank you for representing our school, which is an honor to us. But sir, there's a question I want to ask. Okay. Sir, why was I selected? I thought it was the mother of the child that won the competition. Well, yeah, your mom won the contest. Sir, how was that possible? Well, we're all surprised, but first of all, our distant appearance. We noticed some parents' dress code, some part of their body was showing, which ought not to be. But your mother's dressing was number one. And again, the way she spoke, was captivating and she has a very very good diction which shows that she's very educated and knows what she's doing your mom possesses the best behavior among all other parents and these were the few things we were looking at and honestly i must tell you you really have the best mom and you should be proud about her moreover this is a trophy that you won for the school but for the money you have to call your mom to come pick up the prize okay sir but sir i think i need to leave hold on you don't look happy. Why? Sam, so okay. My daughter. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry for all the embarrassment I've caused you. I'm the one that's supposed to be asking you for forgiveness. Despite the fact that we are poor, you invested a lot in me than other parents. Mom, if not for you, I wouldn't have won the mathematics competition. Really? Yes, mom. You won the mathematics competition? Yes. I was also awarded the scholarship to study abroad. Really? Yes, ma'am. And my principal told me to tell you, you should come to school on Monday to collect the grand prize. Okay. Come in, my daughter. I love you so much. 
Thank, Thank you. you for making me proud. Thank you. Okay, um, yeah, mom, is that... What is it again? Mom, it's about the scholarship exam. Okay, guys, give me a few minutes. I'll be back, okay? I promise, I'll be back. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Love you guys. Bye. What is it? You don't look jobless to you, darling. Go and meet your father to do that. I don't have time, okay? Angel, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. You know I missed you so much. Yes, I do, and I missed you too. Mm. I hope you didn't disturb Grandma so much. Dad, I can't tell lies. I did. But you know Grandma likes to play, and I really love her so much. How I wish you and Mom didn't separate. I'm sorry, we had to. I mean, it's just for the better of the family, you know? Okay, Dad. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I forgot to pass you this very important message. Your stepmom is around. Um, she came in a few days ago. Why didn't you tell me earlier, Dad? I am so sorry, but I didn't want to tell you while you were at Grandma's place. Is she inside? Can I see her? Yes, of course, she's inside. Favor! Favor! Yes, honey, you're back. Oh, yes. Um, I just wanted to have a chit chat with my little angel. Oh, this is Debbie, right? Yes, of course. Oh, you look so beautiful, just like your mom. Thank you. You know what? Let me quickly prepare something for you, okay? Okay. She seems very cool. Yeah, sure. She is. She is a nice woman. I hope mom can still come and visit me anytime. Of course. Anytime. Why don't you go in and freshen up? By the time you're done, food will be ready. Okay, Dad. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to my live video. It's been a while. So, how are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Th I see you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, you love my skin. I'm going to share everything I use for my skin, okay? Just you. I'm going to share everything. Oh, you love my chin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mom. Mom. Okay. So, Mom. Can't you see that I'm busy? I'm having issues with my assignments. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Oh, thank you. Okay, um, yeah, mom, is that... What is it again? Mom, it's about the scholarship exam. Okay, guys, give me a few minutes. I'll be back, okay? I promise, I'll be back. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Love you guys. Bye. What is it? Mom, it's about the scholarship exam that is coming up. Anyone who takes first, second or third position will be given scholarship to study abroad. I know this has always been my dream, Mom. I want you to always be there for me. I want you to help me with my assignments. I should be there for you. You don't look jobless to you, darling. Go and meet your father to do that. I don't have time, okay? But that is on a vacation trip. Okay, I'll help you when I'm free. Thank you, Mom. But can you help me with this particular assignment? Hello, honey. I'm good. How you doing? You mean the event is starting now? Why am I just getting informed? Okay, I'll be there in five minutes, okay? Baby girl, my time here is up, okay? I'll visit you some other time, okay? Take care of yourself. Mommy. Mommy, please don't go. Mommy! 
Mami. Baby, how are you? I'm fine. So, what are you up to? I'm preparing for the scholarship exam that is coming up. Oh, really? Can I help you? Yes, I'm having some problems with this topic. I really don't understand. Oh, okay. Let me see. Here it is. Wow, this is quite simple. I'll help you. Okay, so take a look at this. I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Yeah. These are the stuff. Check them out. Wow, this is so nice. I love it. Thank you so much for taking care of me. You're welcome. Just make sure you don't forget everything I've been teaching you, okay? No, I won't. In class, my teacher loves me. She said I've improved to my studies. Oh, wow. Ma, I saw you in the middle of the night, around 2 a.m. What were you doing with your laptop? Oh about that. I was making some research about some questions that might likely come out for your exams. Really? Yes, yeah, so when we get home, we're going to solve it. Go. Just give me some seconds. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, today is the party. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have something more important to do, please. No, 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 I can't make it. All right, thanks for understanding. Sorry, ma, please, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you have an outing today? Yes, I have an hangout with my friends. So, are you attending? No, we have to go home and prepare for your exams. You know your future is important to me. Really? Yes. Get into the car, let's go. Okay. Dad, hello, Mom. Ah, my little angel. How are you? I'm fine. Dad, guess what? What is it? I want the scholarship. Wow. This is so beautiful. Babe. Can you see this? Yeah. I am so happy for you. I am so proud of you, my angel. Okay, so tell me, um, what do you intend to take on your trip with you? I'll take... Mom, what are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? An information got to me from your school that you won the scholarship and we are going together. What? Why? Because I'm your mom. <laughs> yes, you are my mom, but you don't care about me. Can you imagine? You just came here and the first thing you could say is you want me to take you along. I guess you need content for your social media. I'm so sorry, honey. It skipped my mind. Congratulations. Don't even think about it, mom, because you're not coming with me. I'm surely going with Mrs. Favor. She stood by me and motivated me. She spent nights solving my assignments. She left her occasions to be there for me. And every time I run to you, you chose your parties over me. Come on, my darling. Your mom will always be your mom. I'm more important to you than any other person in this world. No, Mom. Mrs. Favor is very important to me. And I'm so glad she's my stepmother. Okay, Jane. You may please take your leave and don't forget to shut the door behind you. Thank you. All right, so, um, Angel. Come closer. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Yes, Dad. It is almost the end of the session. When are you having your parents meeting there? Dad, in this my new school, we don't have parents meetings. Why? But can I come to your school at least to meet your teachers? No, Dad. There's no need. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. I'm going for the doctor's appointment now. I left your food in the kitchen. Okay, Dad. So make sure you get some food and eat, okay? Okay, Dad. Bye, Dad. You take care of yourself. Okay, Dad. Jane, how come you come to school only with the school bus and go back with the school bus? Actually, my dad is always busy, so he doesn't have time to come pick me up. What work does your dad do? My mom is always busy, but she takes out time to come pick me. Whenever I will tell you you are coming over for a visit, you always refuse and tell us your dad is not around, even in the evening. Is it that your dad is never around? Well, my dad is always very busy. And if you want to see anybody else, you can see my mom. Okay, we are going to the garden. You can drop your bag and come and join us. Okay. Hi, Jane. Hi. Who is he? It's my dad. Meet my dad. Hello, Jane. Hello, sir. But, sir, what happened to your legs? Oh, I had an accident three months ago, and my daughter has been taking good care of me. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, I'm actually here to see Ellen's teacher. Okay, Ellen, take him to your class teacher. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Bye, Jane. Bye. James, you didn't tell me your dad was on a wheelchair. Well, he was a soldier and he fought for our country and during the war he lost his leg and I'm very proud of him. How do you feel bringing your dad on a wheelchair? What? What are you even saying? Nothing, nothing. But are you comfortable bringing your dad on a wheelchair to school? Well, in this life, I don't get to choose my parents. My parents is my parents. Okay. Good day, ma'am. That's me, sir. I'm here to see James' class teacher. Okay, James, take him to your class teacher. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Ma. Ma, I have made a very big mistake. What mistake? I didn't tell my dad that today is the open day. But why? I just don't know. Now it's too late to go and get my dad. You can still go home to inform your dad you still have three to four hours to do that. Okay, thank you, ma. You're welcome. Jane, is that you? Yes, Dad. Okay. Aren't you meant to be in school? I am, Dad. But, Dad, I'm very sorry. I haven't been honest with you. Actually, today is my open day. I was so ashamed because you are one eye. I'm so sorry. Right now, I've realized that we don't get to choose our parents. Our parents are our parents. I'm truly sorry, Dad, and I hope you'll be able to follow me to the open day. Jane, I knew your open day was scheduled for today, 
But I thought to myself, if you don't invite me, I won't come. Neither will I ask you about it. But now that you have asked me to follow you, I will follow you. Really, Dad? Thank you so much, Dad. Okay. Um, I need to change you into something. No, Dad. You are okay like this. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. That's your mom calling you. Yeah, I don't know why she's always yelling my name. Go and check what's happening. Let's leave that. Let us just continue the game. Erica, didn't you hear me calling out your name? But mom, you can say I'm busy with my friend playing game. I went to your room now and I can see that you have not done the cleaning I asked you to do. Why? Mom, just go. You can see I'm playing game and I don't want her to win. I'll do that later. You need to stop procrastinating and get the work done. Okay, Mom. She's always calling me for one thing or another. But Erica, that was disrespectful to your mom. We have a lot of time to spend together, to play games and have fun. Don't use that as an excuse for your irresponsibility. I want you to stop being rude to your mom. I do not like it. Please change. Okay. Now, let's go to the room for your cleaning. Okay. Welcome, ma. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Why are you the only one cleaning? Erica says she will join me. Really? Yes, ma. Excuse me. Debbie. Yes, ma. So I spend my day now to talk to you, okay? Okay, ma. Okay, sit down. Debbie. Yes, ma. I know you're my daughter's friend, and I really, really appreciate you a lot for your good behavior. If only Erica could emulate such behavior from me, I would be so happy. But unfortunately, she's so lazy. Or maybe I'm the bad mother, right? Please, ma, don't blame it on yourself. It's not your fault. I know you're trying to change this bad behavior. I always tell her she's lucky to have a mother like you. Really? Yes, ma. I was once like her too. But my mom didn't overlook the bad behavior. Ma, there are so many ways you can discipline a child. Not just to discipline, but to also teach a lesson. that will make her understand that what she's doing is wrong. Don't worry, ma. I'm sure Erica will change. I hope so. Thank you so much, Debbie. I really appreciate it. Forget about the cleaning. Have you eaten? No, ma. Do I prepare something for you to eat, okay? Okay, ma. Come on. Are you enjoying your food? Yes, mom. Erica, I'm going to be making a trip tomorrow and I'll be back until three days. And you didn't tell me about this. And you want to leave me in this big house. Don't worry, you're going to be fine. Then who is going to stay with me? Are you getting a babysitter? Don't worry, your uncle is going to stay with you. What? Uncle Sam! Mom, please don't leave me with Uncle Sam. Please, take me with you. You're going to be fine, trust me. You can't come with me to where I'm going. Don't worry, okay? You're going to be fine. 
now eat your food. Erika, wake up! I can't even sleep by this time. Would you get up? Good morning, uncle. What is good about the morning? Listen, get up right now, clean the dishes, and clean all the bathrooms. Is that clear? Yes, uncle. Oh my god. He made me walk throughout yesterday, and he has started again. Oh, my body aches. Hello, mommy. How are you? I'm fine, mom. Mom, please come back home soon. You have to endure with him and do whatever he says. I might not even come back until you resume. Mom, please, no, mom. I'm tired of staying with Uncle Sam. Bye. Hello. Hello. Uh, what are you doing in the room? And who are you talking to? Let me have the phone. I'm going to keep this phone until your mom gets back. By the way, you ate and left your plate on the dining. I'm going to pack it for you. Me? Now, get up and go and pack it. Okay, sorry. Hurry. Don't you dare stand up, sit down there. Who's there? Debbie. Come in. Who the Uncle Sam? What are you doing here? I came to visit my friend. You can see she's busy and she's reading. Maybe you come some other time. Okay, sir. But uncle, you shouldn't have chased her away like that. I'm almost done reading. Well, I already did it. Read your book. Mom. How are you? Fine, Mom. I missed you so much. Please don't leave me. Sit down. Hello, Uncle Sam. Welcome. Welcome, Mommy. I missed you so much. Did you just welcome me back? Yes, Mom. Anyways, I just came to pick some stuff. I'll be going back soon. No, Mom. Please don't leave me. I can't stay with a child who doesn't obey me or listen to whatever I say. I can't stay with you anymore. Mommy, I'm sorry. I want to disobey you again. I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Debbie, please come and have your seats. What's going on? I spoke to your friend and I called your uncle Sam. All of this has been a test. This test was to help you stop your bad behavior and misconduct. You are becoming too sport and irresponsible. I couldn't handle it. So I had to reach out to your uncle for assistance. And he came up with this whole plan. So it was the only way for you to learn. Erica, your mom is right. It's for your own good. I hope that you have learned from this. Yes, mom, I have. And I promise to be of good conduct as from now on. 
I will oblige to my duties as a child. Erica, make sure from now you have good behavior. It will help you in the future. Okay? Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Mom. And thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. You're welcome, my dear. That's my sweetheart. Come and hug me. Baby, come, 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 come too. Oh, thank you. So what will I tell Dad? What do we do about it? What's that? That's Dad's voice. What do we do? Oh my God. Yes, it's Dad. I I don't know what to do. Wait, I think I have the solution. What is the noise I heard about? Did any of you break anything? Good day, Dad. Oh, welcome. You're back. Try to get some rest, okay? Dad, you see what I'm talking about? Steve just greeted you with nothing. But, mm. Dad, it isn't funny. Okay, Steve. Greet your brother. Really? Yes. Good day, Samuel. Whatever. Mr. Man, what's so funny? Uh, nothing that is just this funny video on TikTok. I've told you to start reading motivational books. But Dad, you know how much I hate motivational mm. books. Wait, Steve. I hope it is not what I'm thinking. It's all you're thinking, Dad. Dad, Steve just got back and he wants to go play football. Oh, please. Steve, respect your brother. Look, Dad, you know how much I love playing football and I want to be good at it. Okay. We can we have some time, okay? Dad, did you just let Steve go play? Yes, I mean let him let him have some free time. So what is it now? I tell dad. What do we do about it? What's that? That's dad's voice. What do we do? Oh my god. Yes, it's dad. I, I don't know what to do. Wait, I think I have the solution. What is the noise I heard about? Did any of you break anything? No, we had the same noise from outside. Are you sure you guys didn't break anything? No, dad. We did not. Right? Yes, yes. Steve, are you sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. I'll be in my room. Okay. Thank you so much. And don't forget to trash it. Yes. Sir! Sir! Yes, sir. Oh, you're here. Where are you off to dressed like this? Well, the friends of mine invited me over. Uh, that's good. But I guess I'll have to be later in the day because right now you have laundry to do for me. <laughs> so what's it about the laughter? Well, Steve here said that he'll help me to do the laundry. Oh, uh, Steve, is that true? Yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes. I guess that is settled there. You can go. Sir. 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 Why are the dishes not washed? Steve told me that you help me to do them. Really? Remember the cargoes. Oh yes. So what are you guys discussing? Like just like homework. Alright, good. Since you have decided to help your brother, then go into the kitchen and wash the dishes. Uh. Sir. Sir. Yes, Dad. Please get me a glass of water. 
Steve said I will get you a glass of water. Really? Steve, you can't get him a glass of water. What? Oh, you don't remember. I'll tell that about the broken cup. Look, Samuel, I'm tired of all this blackmailing of yours. I've been literally doing all your stuff for you. You got the F1 tree. So go tell that yourself. Dad. So, you have anything to say? I, I mistakenly broke the glass cup. It was all an accident. Yes, I'm very much aware of this. I went to the kitchen the following day and I saw the broken glass by the door. I realized that it was one of you who broke the cup. But from the look of things, I know it was you. But I am happy you've been able to find your voice. And um, I was wondering how long you will continue to allow your brother to make a slave of you. Thank you, Dad. Sam! Sam! It is very wrong of you to take advantage of your brother in such a situation. Now look at me. Go to the kitchen and get me a glass of water. But why can't Steve do it? Go to the kitchen and get me a glass of water. What are you doing? Doing class revision. Alright. Be a good boy. Tell him to bring it to me in the room. Okay, okay go. What? <gasps> are you blind? How dare you stand my feet? Ma, I actually told you to lift up your leg. So, lying is now your new talent, right? When on earth did you ask me to raise my feet? I did. So, I'm the liar here. <laughs> Will you get out of this place five pounds on you? <laughs> Mom. Yes, baby. Aunt Janet truly asked you to raise up your legs. Oh, she did? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. It's okay. But mom, you shouldn't have pushed her like that. Janet! Janet! Yes, ma. What are you doing? I'm washing the dishes, ma. And how long will it take you to clean just an ordinary dish? Actually, I just started. Are you stupid? Or are you trying to say I'm dumb? Or I don't know what I'm saying? No, ma. Actually, I'm done. I'm done. You're done? So what's that spoon doing with you? It's just a spoon. Let me just go and finish up. I mean, why are you so rude? I'm sorry, ma. Listen. You're just an ordinary cleaner. In fact, I am your savior. I am your lord. You should know your place in this house. I feed you and I clothe you every day of your life. You should mind the way you talk to me. Am I clear? Are you dumb? You ask me not to talk when you're talking, ma. You're just a fool. You don't know when to do things the right time. Mom. I heard you shouting. What's wrong? I'm okay, my princess. Auntie Janet, are you fine? Yes, I am. Please leave. My angel, how is it going? It's going well, Mom. Do you need any help? No, Mom. Okay. Excuse me, ma, please, could you raise your leg? This is so funny. <laughs> Excuse me, ma. Ma. What? <gasps> Are you blind? How dare you stand my feet? Ma, I actually told you to lift up your leg. 
So nine is now your new talent, right? When on earth did you ask me to raise my kids? I did. So I'm the liar here. Yeah. <laughs> Will you get out of this place before I pounce on you? Mom. Yes, baby. Aunt Janet truly asked you to raise up your legs. Oh, she did? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. It's okay. But mom, you shouldn't have pushed her like that. Dad always says it is wrong to treat people badly. Like that. Come on, my darling. Listen, let me tell you. We are the higher class. And you see other smiths. They are the lower class. So we should always put them in their places. That's how life works. But mom, dad says it's not good. Come on, my darling. You don't need to listen to your dad. What I'm telling you is what it is in the real life. Okay, mom. That's my angel. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Rachel. How are you? Fine, Ma. I'm here to wait for my mom. Yeah, I know. Come have a seat. Hannah! What are you trying to do? Mom, I want to ogre. What did I tell you about putting lower people in their place? But, Mom... To your room. Now! Now! Welcome, Mr. Moses. Oh, thank you for having us, Mrs. Maribel. You're welcome. Wow, you have a lovely place here. Thank you so much, sir. My baby, meet my senior colleague here at work and his daughter. They are both joining us for the dinner tonight. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Anna. Wow, what a lovely name. I see you took after your mother. So what's your name? My name is Faith. Wow, well, Faith. Hannah, I want to say hello to Faith. But mom, I can't talk to her. She's on a higher level and we are lower. They shouldn't be talking to our family. What? What do you mean? I mean, you shouldn't be having dinner with us. My mom taught me that we shouldn't talk to people who are higher than us and lower than us. That's why my mom treats our maid badly, just because she's lower to us. In that case, we don't deserve to have dinner with you. You should have dinner with people who are in the same level as you. What? Your mom told you that? Yes, sir. Wow. Mrs. Mirabel, I am highly disappointed. This is not a way to train a child. I know I am your older colleague, but I came here to have dinner with you because everybody is equal. No matter maybe in a higher class or a lower class. We are all humans and we deserve to be treated equally. As your superior, I believe I have never treated you lower at the office. And I also heard your daughter saying you might treat your maid, which is wrong. Mrs. Mirabel, I don't think I'm comfortable having this dinner here anymore. I don't want such lessons rubbing off on my daughter. Faith, let's go. I'm so sorry, sir. It's not really what you think. Oh, I see. But it's really what I think. Let's go. Please. Okay. Good morning, Miss Grace. Good morning. So what brought you here? Actually, I have no time because I'm already late for work and my daughter got back from school yesterday so sad after looking into our assignment you know and I also checked the assignment to confirm about what is wrong she got all her answers correctly but you marked that wrong why thank you so much for coming to make this complaint the data was wrong that was why I marked that wrong how 
I checked them and she got all the answers correctly. I felt she made a mistake. No, I did not make a mistake. Yes, you made a mistake. I even have it snapped on my phone. It is here. I snapped it. There's See? no need for this. But Ma, can't your child fail? What is wrong with mothers of these days? Can't your child fail and you'll be okay with it? That's if she really failed. Because I know my daughter. She wouldn't fail. Those questions were just too simple for her to fail that. Well, I know what I'm doing and I can put it to you that your child failed woefully. No, you know what? I'll leave for work right now. Alright, okay. thank you. Hello, honey. I'm parked outside your office premises waiting for you right now, so you can come outside now, okay? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, How darling. Are you? How are you doing? How's your day? Yeah, my day was fine. Yeah, well, well. No, you look moody. So what happened? Um, I'm just bothered about something. Um, something happened in hand school today and well, it's fine, don't worry, I'll sort it out. No, 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 no. Anything about Anne, I must hear about it too. Tell me now, I must hear about it now. Okay, do you believe Anne teacher failed that even when she got all the answers correctly? Are you sure Anne really got the answers correctly? Yes, she got it correctly. I checked it myself, I confirmed. Maybe there's just a misunderstanding somewhere. There was no misunderstanding anywhere. I checked this and confirmed it myself. I was even at their school this morning and the lady was just so stubborn. She insisted that she was right. You know, I'm so bothered. What sort of rubbish is that? Why would someone do that to my daughter? You know, I just don't want to take it ash on them. I decided to leave though I was in a hurry today. But you should have taken it to the higher authority. Yeah, I should have, but you know, I was in a hurry this morning. I had to get to the office early because I had a meeting. So all of that. But I'll sort it out very soon. Don't bother. Maybe I'll go back there tomorrow. You know what? I'll go with you. That'll be fine. That'll be the best. Yo, I'm tired. Let's go home. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Whoa, Miss Mary. I must say, I'm surprised to see you again. Yeah, good afternoon. Well, I thought we spoke yesterday. Yes, but we didn't analyze on it because I was running late, remember? Oni, say something. She's the one that failed her daughter. Mm, yes, I mean, no, uh, Madam Grace. Uh, why did you fail our daughter when she did well in her assignment? Yes, I want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you really want to know why I failed your daughter? Yes, I'm interested, please. Honey, mm -hmm. there's no need for this. When we get home, we'll figure it out. It's nothing serious. At home? Where's that being done? We're going to sort it out here, now. I will tell you why I failed your daughter. Yes, I need to know. Honey, seriously, there's no need for this. Honey, why do you like this? I need to know now. We need to know. Firstly, let's tell Anne to go back to her class. Okay, hi, darling. Yes, mom. You can go to your class now. I love you, darling. I love you too, mom. Be good. You want to know why I failed your daughter? Yes, I want to know. <laughs> we can't do this here. Let's go outside. Darling, don't stress it. Let's just go home. Darling, why are you sounding like there is something about this issue? It's just an assignment and I feel there's more to it. So please, if you're not ready and I'm ready to know what has happened, why she failed my daughter, if you're not ready. Miss Grace, after you please. Let's go. I didn't know on time. I got to discover later that the surname matched. What do you mean? Your daughter's surname is Joseph, right? Yes. Okay, my ex-boyfriend name is Joseph. What does that have to do with my daughter? Well, I'll get to it. You see, I and Joseph were lovers and we dated for so many years. We did so many things together, had so many lovable memories. 
I figured out he was cheating on me and when I asked him, he denied. And on a faithful day, he proposed to me. I was still feeling so and then asked him if he was cheating. And he said, no, I didn't have proof. So I decided to marry him. After the engagement, I discovered I was pregnant. I told Joseph about it, but guess what? Guess his reply. He said I should get rid of it. I refused to take out my first child. And then he broke up with me. Few weeks after we broke up, I discovered Joseph was married. So sorry about that. Your story is quite touching. But I still don't know why that concerns my daughter's assignment. I'm lost. <laughs> okay, I will make you understand. Your husband here is my ex-boyfriend. What? Riggs! You cheated on me? Honey, please, I can explain. I'm sorry. Wait, what stupid explanation do you have? Madam, you can't do this here. This is a school premises. This is a family issue and when you get home, you will sort it out. And as for your daughter, I am so sorry for allowing my emotions to get the best part of me. I will see to it and it will never happen again, trust me. Like I said, Anne does not deserve everything I did to her. I am so sorry. If you don't mind, I would like to go back to work. How dare you, Riggs! Please forgive me, I can explain. <laughs> what on earth what do you what on earth do you have to, to explain? What stupid explanation do you have? You know what? I'm done with you. Who are you to tell me how to talk to people? Wow. What have you achieved in this life? Wow. I expected more from your mom. How dare you open your mouth and talk about my mom? Who the hell are you? You know what? I think I'm just going to push you out of the house. Matthew! 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 You called for me. You called for me? Should I call you one more time? I've been shouting your name for over an hour now. Why didn't you answer me? Sorry, I was cleaning the bathroom. That was why I couldn't hear you. Liar! Next time you try that, I'll make sure you get punished. Sorry. Have you cleaned this place? Yes, I have. Have you cleaned under the chair? Yes, I have. Have you cleaned the dining room? Yes, I've cleaned the dining room. Why are you saying, yes, I've cleaned it? What am I supposed to say? Yes, I have cleaned it, ma. Yes, I've cleaned it, ma. Wait, do you think I'm your mate? <laughs> we obviously both know I'm older than you. Look at me. My parents have more money than you, so I am older than you with money. Do you have a beautiful mansion like this? Or does your house have a beautiful decor like this? So that is the reason why you have to answer me with yes, ma. Yes, ma. Good. So we're going to take it all over again. Have you cleaned here? Yes, ma. Have you cleaned under the chair? Yes, ma. Have you cleaned the dining room? Yes, ma. Have you cleaned my bedroom? Have you cleaned my bedroom? Are you deaf? And what is going on here? Um, nothing, ma. No, 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 don't say nothing. Because I heard you saying yes, ma, to her. Who insisted on that? Ma'am, I, I don't think I want to work here anymore. But why? Nothing, ma. What happened? What happened, Jane? What's going on? Mom, leave him. Let him go. No, you don't have to tell me. Let him go. What's, what's happened? No, Mom. They're just common needs. Mom, trust me. I don't want him anymore. That's why I'm frustrating him. Just be careful, Juliet. Be careful. I will, Mom. <laughs> You know I'm starting a new job very soon. So who is going to look after Juliet? And I'm going to work. Mom, I can look after myself. I'm mature enough. 
Baby, don't mind her. She don't need to sing. She's just a kid. Please, do you have anybody? Mm, I think I will speak to my friend. Okay. I usually get babysitter or full-time home assistance for people. That's a good idea though. Thank you. Come in, the door is not locked. Good afternoon, young lady. What? Did you just call me young lady? <laughs> yes, I did. What gave you the audacity to call me young lady? I know the cleaner my mom is expecting. How can an ordinary maid like you call me young lady? You're supposed to be looking after me. And if you don't behave yourself and give me my respect, I'm going to make sure I make life a living hell for you in this house. That's not a good way to talk to people. Who are you to tell me how to talk to people? Wow. What have you achieved in this life? Wow. I expected more from your mom. How dare you open your mouth and talk about my mom? Who the hell are you? You know what? I think I'm just going to push you out of the house. Please, open the door. I have something important for your mom. When you're tired of knocking, you will leave. Jane, open the door. Let me come in. Mom, is that you? Yes. And why do you lock this lady outside? I'm so sorry for all my daughter to see you. And who are you? She's obviously the maid. Oh, I was not expecting you so soon. You will learn to put up with my child and you will take the insults and whatever she does to you. You know it's all about the money and you're getting paid. Sometimes she will abuse you, hit you, push you. But I will say you take it because you're just a maid. Then make myself clear. I'm not a maid. I'm only sent from the company you applied for. I'm here to confirm your new job. Oh my god. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. I don't think you'll be getting this job. Why, ma? How does this issue between you and my child affect my new job? You are meant to be teaching children morals and value. To inculcate morals and value into kids. And you can't even train your own. I'm so sorry, I don't ma. think you'll be getting this job. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm so sorry, ma. You can't settle this. I'm so sorry, ma. Please don't go, ma. I'm so... You see what you've done. You see what you've done. You've ruined my life. You've ruined my life. It's your attitude. In. Start up a new program for disabled children in the states. Parents will be rewarded with a catering fee of one hundred twenty thousand naira for every child they adopt. The government wants that only parents who will love and care for these children will be allowed into this program as Fort Stars will be prosecuted. This is Fort News. My name is Shedrak. Thank you for staying with us. Good night. Babe, didn't you hear the news? I heard it. Did you hear the last statement? Yes, I heard it. So what's wrong with it? You don't understand that the government is trying to give to every family 120,000 naira on every child they can adopt. I mean, isn't that awesome? When did you start having passion for disabled children? Passion? I don't have passion for disabled kids. All I need is the money. Clean What? See, do you like how this house looks so empty? Let me tell you something. There's so much we can do with such money. I mean, with, with that money, you can get yourself a new deep fryer. I can get myself a car. You see, we can eat better, we can live better. I can even refurbish the house. In all of these things, you did not say anything about the kids. Did I tell you I need money for the kids? I don't like this idea. You are, you, are, you, are, you are really beginning to sound like a fraud. 
and you heard what the newscaster said. Do I look like a friend? I am going to look after the children. After all, how many times do you need to eat a day to leave? See, once they eat one solid meal in a day, that's enough. I mean, they drink water in the morning, they probably grab a snack in the afternoon. And at night, they eat one solid good food. That's enough. Where are you getting with this? See, that is my business plan. <laughs> oh my God. You call this a business plan? See, babe, you're not seeing the bigger picture here. Listen, you adopt four kids. And that's, that's, do the math. That is 480,000 naira a month. Do you know what that can do for us? My income and your income is not even up to 200,000. I'm not doing this with you. I'm not. Moreover, you need my signature as your wife. And I'm not doing it with you. So, have you forgotten I can forge your signature? Oh my god, you're unbelievable. See, <clears throat> you see, whether you like it or not, I am proceeding with this plan. I'll put my signature, I'll check your document, I'll forge your signature, I'll put it there. After I have your passport with me, that is, that is all I need to make this work. Right? Yes! Yes! Yes, I got this. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Clifton. I've been coming to the office for about six weeks now. I was the one who submitted the form for adopting the disabled kids. And um, you said today is a collection day. You said today is what? I am sorry, sir. It was a slip of tongue. Uh, it's a word we use in my office. Okay. Well, um, we have two kids on ground today, and um, their names are Abigail and Grace. And please, we want you to treat them very well as your own. And we want you to show them a lot of love. But, sir, I'm supposed to pick up four children. Oh, yes. But we'd we'll rather you start with two. And if we see the way you treat those two very well, and showing them love, then we'll consider giving you other two kids. I assume you have passion for kids. What did you say? I assume you have passion for children. Oh, yes, I, I have passion for children. In fact, I loved children since I was a kid myself too. Okay, um, I'm going to bring out a form which you're going to fill for me right now. So, you fill, sign here, here and here. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Right. Abigail and Grace, come with your new father. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you girls doing? Fine, sir. Okay, that's good. So, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Show them love. Oh, definitely, Grace, Abigail, your food is ready. So, you guys, your food is ready. Sit down and eat. Sir. We can't eat like this. What do you mean by you can't eat like this? Sir, there is no spoon. And so? And in fact, you didn't put it on the dining. See, listen kids, you have two options here. It is either you sit down on the floor and eat this food, or you go back inside. Okay? Abigail wants to talk to you. About what exactly? When are we going to start school? You have to take us to school and bring us back. School? 
and who said anything about school? Sir, even if it's a public school. I have never seen a beggar with a choice in my entire life. Yeah, you're talking about school. Listen, I feed the both of you. I clothe you. And you're here talking about school. <laughs> Human beings can never be satisfied. But it's unfair. We want to go to school. Hey, Abby. Hey, girl. Hi, guys. They're fine. Guess what? What? I went shopping and I got you guys the clothes. Thank you, Mom. Hope you guys have eaten. Yes, Mom. Okay, that's good. Susie, where did you get the money to buy these clothes? Since they came from the orphanage, you only have three clothes. And I started to get them something, some clothes to wear. So you guys will go in now and try these clothes. So I want to talk to my husband, okay? Susie, what is wrong with you? Can't you see these kids are just passing time here? Listen, I waste money on clothes for these good-for-nothing disabled kids. We have so much things to do with money. Can't you see? What is wrong with you? Think! If you know you are not ready to take care of these kids, why do you bring them here? You know what? I won't let this your bad reputation rub off on me. Do you understand? I'm going to take care of those kids. Not because of the money, but because I'm a kind and nice person. Okay? You're not getting the gist, Susie. Listen. What if we have 30 to 50 children and we are getting 120,000 naira on each kid from the government? Do the math. We are in serious money. Money. I can't believe you are saying this. Like, you've changed. I can't believe my husband will stoop so low. You are acting like a total stranger. You are unbelievable. You are. I'm not doing with this. Are you working out on me? Yes, come in. The door is open. Oh, Mr. John. Please come and have your seat, sir. How are you? Fine. Mr. Clifton. Yes, Mr. John. Yeah. A message got to us with picture evidence on how you've been badly treating these kids. One. You don't fit them well. Two, they wear dirty ton clothes. You have to plow it up. They are home. They're supposed to be in school. Wait. Mr. John, who sent you all this evidence? So you're not denying it. And all you could ask is how I got to know about all this. What? what? See, who's been feeding you with, with all of this? The way you treat these children scares me a lot. If you can treat them like this, how are you going to treat our own biological children? But, babe, see, I won't treat our children badly. Our own biological children. They may be somebody else's children, but they also deserve love and care. And yes, I sent the evidence to the Child Rights Organization. Mr. John, you see, women can be very emotional. I understand. Let us settle this amicably between the both of us, man to man. We can settle this amicably between the both of us. Look, I have made some money and I can give you some money. I can give you anything you want. Just name it. I will give it to you. You are a government worker. And this is our only chance to eat out of the national cake. <laughs> so we can, we can just let this go. Wow. Mr. Clifton, you're something else. You even trying to bribe a government official? Well, we can settle this amicably. There's no need for long talk. Officer Becky. Please come in. It, 
It hasn't gotten to this. Mr. Clifton, you're under arrest for fraud and the maltreatment of minor. Please, anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. It hasn't gotten to this. Honey, you see what you have cost? I'll make sure you pay severely for this one. Please! Oh, oh, you think I'll be here waiting for you? My lawyer is going to send you the divorce paper in jail. Divorce? Babe, I, I, I'm sorry. I love you. You can send the leave. Can I buy a day of your time? Dad, can I buy a day of your presence? Dad, can I buy a day of your love? I'm your daughter. Can I buy a day of your comforts? Please, Dad. Dad. Oh, Rita, you're awake already. Yes, Dad. Dad, you came home late yesterday, isn't it? Work has really been hectic for me. Okay, Dad. Dad, I want to tell you something. Look, child, I'm late for work, so it has to wait. But, Dad, it's important. It has to wait. I'm late for work now. You never have time for me. Dad, you're back so early. Oh, yes, I am. Give me a minute, Dad. I'll be back. What is this? My assignment. Dad, it is so tough, but thank God you came home early. Um, Rita Child, I really don't have time for this because I have presentation to do tomorrow at work and I have to get myself prepared. So, why don't you just do your research and get the work done? But Dad... Enough! Now tidy up this place and go to your room. Dad... Oh, not again. Can I ask you a question? What? Make it quick. Okay, I'll be real quick. Dad, how much do you earn at your work? How is that any of your business? Now, Rita, off to your room. Dad, please tell me. A hundred bucks. I earn a hundred dollars per day, so is there any problem? Actually, I need... I need... I need $50. $50? Yes, Dad. Can you help me with it? What makes you think I'll give you $50? Owing to the fact that you don't work, you think money gets to me easily, all you do is go to school, come back home, play video games, and you expect me to give you $50? You must be silly. Now, tidy up this place and head to your room. Mom, why did you leave me? You're the only person that understands me. Why? Why was I harsh to my own daughter? She only asked for 50 bucks, which is something I can easily give to her. I really have to go and see her. Dad, Dad. Please, Rita. I don't have time for your drama. I'm really heading to work. But Dad, at least come eat. I've prepared your favorite. Eat alone. I'm already late. So when I get back from work, I'll eat. But Dad... One more word from you. And you regret disturbing me this morning, Rita. Hello, sir. 
I'm on my way. What a hectic day. Rita. Rita. Oh. She's already asleep. I should go and finalize my documents. Dad said I should deliver this to you. Dad? Rita. Rita. Be weak. Sorry. I heard what happened. Sorry. Rita, please, don't do this to me, please. Why, Dad? Angel, is it about the 50 bucks? I'll, I'll quickly go inside and get it for no, you. Dad. Here, have this. Rita, I don't understand. You, you have money already. Dad, can I buy a day of your time? Dad, can I buy a day of your presence? Dad, can I buy a day of your love? I'm your daughter. Can I buy a day of your comforts? Please, Dad. I'm very sorry, Rita. Very, very sorry. Henceforth, I'll be there for you. I promise, I'll be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> 